Hey guys, Avatar here. Um, this is take two of um Skydrop thing. Yeah. Um, for some reason the recording software that I was using crashed on me. Um. Okay, I think everything should be back up and running. Let me go ahead and hop into Creative, and I'll show you what I've been working on. So this here is Skydrops. Every once in a while. Uh, whenever you're mining, you'll be mining stone, um, you know, all that stuff. You could get something called a runic stone. And it's really cool. Um, also before I go ahead and do this, shaders, looks pretty cool. And that's mainly because I'm on my new computer, the one that I just built. Also, if you guys could go ahead and slam that like button, that'd be awesome. And, uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new. Anyways, let's get back into the video. So these guy drops, um, you'll get them, they'll pop into your inventory, they'll say runic stone, and in lore it'll say may produce a storm. If you drop them down, then it's going to trigger all of this stuff. Basically, what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and refill this chest, and that chest over there, inside that little weird structure. And it'll fill it with really awesome stuff, like better stuff that you could ever get. So basically all I have up here is just a test for that item being dropped on the ground, it'll go through, this one just kills the item, this one summons lightning at the, um, two chests, this one, uh, changes the weather, the weather to rain, and this one summons lightning at the other chest. Then it goes down here, it goes into this, which, um, it'll say title, sky drops across your screen, and then it'll, uh, say come get the loot in white, and then this is a randomizer, so it'll randomize these outputs are completely random. So what I'm here to show you is I'm here to show you a concept, I guess. And the concept is how to use block data to refill chests, and the, pretty much the much easier way to actually use it. So if you guys do want to see me making like a full sky drop thing, hopefully I will be doing a stream soon, and you guys can come on and check out how to how I make sky drops and like what all of this does. I'll explain it all, and hopefully it'll be really cool. But anyways, I'm gonna show you how to how I do the sky drops. That's actually pretty good because I think I have one of these randomizer slots open. Do I? I do not. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to control Y, control Y, uh, break these guys. Have this run into a randomizer. And this is how you make a randomizer, guys. Um, you put dropper, that, comparator. Go ahead and punch out the wall here. Basically, what the randomizer does is it just selects a random output based on what is selected throughout the actual random thing. So that comes out, go like this, and it's going to go like that with a block here. Got to punch out these two blocks that I can put in this, like that, and place back in this one. This repeater needs to be on two ticks or else it's not going to work. And then you can take a random output from here and from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it here. Um, actually, I'm gonna do it over there because I'm gonna put this one here. And basically, what these command blocks do is they refill what um, has happened. So I need to grab this. And are these? Uh, I'm not sure. Please stack it. Oh, just grab an arrow. Go in here, chuck those guys in there. Alright, now let's go ahead and do this part. So you'll see that these... Oh, I do have open slot. Okay. So these is these are the things, this is where the chests are. So the basic command is slash block data, and then you want to put in the coordinates of your chest. So just go up to the chest, look at it, and go uh, to the F3 screen, and over here there's a looking at option. You want to just uh, put that into the command block because that's the block that you're looking at. So that's what that is there. And then same thing over here except for the other chest. So then what you have to do is you have to go over here. Well, for me. And what I would recommend doing is I'd recommend putting a chest down, like here. And then putting um, this command up in the top. Block data, tilde, space tilde, underscore two, space tilde, um, space curly brackets. Nothing inside the curly brackets, because if you don't have those there, if you have stuff inside it, it's not going to work. And if those curly brackets aren't there, it's not going to work. 
So I think I have that one already. Let me look. I might have stopped mm. there. It should be here. Vines. Dead bush. Vines. Yep, I got Okay, cool. Uh, let me see what this other one is here. Webs. Redstone. I'm looking through here to see what's actually going on here. Generic up max health. Oh, okay, that's the orb of immunity. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a completely new block data thing. So what I do is I normally just take this chest, break it, so that way it goes out. Pull that guy so I can just put the chest back under. Put it back. So then what you can do is you can you should have just a completely clean chest here. You can go through, you know, take out some stuff. I'll take out some arrows. Uh, maybe a carrot, some god apples, lava bucket, mm. uh, sheep spawn egg. Maybe, you know what, let's throw a diamond block in there too. Mm. Uh, some nether bricks, why not? And some gold. Now I'm actually going to take a little gold. And then you can put them in here, uh, wherever you want. It looks better if you kind of try to stagger them and not just throw them all into the chest. Mm. Just because it will... It looks more natural. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw in some cobwebs for aesthetic purposes. There. Sorry, those are my dogs. There we go. Alright, that looks good. Uh, no, let's put... Um, yeah, that's fine. Alright, then I go over here because I normally want like an awesome item. So let's see, what could we do? We could make a... You know what, let's make... Let's make like a, a a creeper head that will give you. Uh, what, how should we do this? I think it. I think it should be a piece of armor. So we're gonna go ahead and take out some chain boots, or no, just called chainmail boots. So this here is just a give command. Um. Um. Hopefully you guys know what that is. If not, leave a comment and I'll do one uh video over that. Chainmail underscore boots. No, boots. Alright. Um, and then we'll put on maybe generic dot attack damage. I think that'd be a good one. So this is an attribute. I did a, a video on attributes as well. So attack damage. Nope, that's not right. Damage. Okay. Generic dot attack damage. Generic dot attack damage. Perfect. Uh, let's add on mm, 15 attack damage. Operation 0, UUID, normal stuff. Slot is going to be, I believe it is called feet. If not, we will change it. Enchantment, it's going to be enchanted with level 0, or just ID 0, because that is the normal protection enchantment. And we're going to put in level... Let's put in level... Level 10 will be good. Display. It's going to be... Let's put in... Hmm, how should we do this? I'm actually going to make it a helmet. We're going to put in... Uh, let's see... I'm trying to think of a good name. I think, um... Hmm. Let's just put in the assassin's helmet. I don't know how to spell assassin. Let's go ahead and put in then just a barbarian helmet. Barbarian helmet. There we go. Barbarian helmet. The lore. The lore is purple. It's little purple, it's purple words under the actual name. It's going to be called, um, gives the strength of a bar barbarian. Yeah, give the strength of a barbarian. Um, we'll go down here and actually change this to, so boots, we're going to change it to helmet. Alright, 
Um, and actually it cannot be on the feet, it has to be on head. Is that right? I think it might be, it might be wrong. When on head. Yeah, I think that might be right. Let's check. Let's see. No, I'm gonna grab. Let's grab. Yeah, mushroom. Two mushroom spawn eggs. Nope. Game mode zero. Alright, spawn a mushroom. No. 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 Alright. Obviously, nothing there. Alright, go back to the mushroom. No, no, I need to break the redstone. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Okay, cool. It's working. Alright, so let's go back to creative. Awesome, so that's working. Just wanted to make sure. I currently have the lumberjack set. That's just what I have. And we'll put in the barber helmet here. Alright, now what you guys are wanting to do is you're going to want to go ahead and with this command, make sure it's two blocks above the chest, activate the command block, and then go in here and you'll see this syntax down here. Now what you want to do is you want to just completely copy all of this syntax until it gets down to the coordinates. And then control copy, and then go ahead and bring that over to your command block. is going to be straight over here. Oh, nope. Oh, it's going to be over here. Um, and then control paste and you want to go all the way over to where the um what is the called? The coordinates are. And you just want to delete them because you already have coordinates. You don't need the other coordinates. And that is basically it. I mean, that's literally all that you have to do. And I'll activate that just to show you that it will work. Where is this? Okay, this is at the further chest, so I'm going to go ahead and teleport over there now, just to show you that there's, like, nothing already in the chest. Um, paste. Alright, so this is the chest. There's just some cobwebs in here, so we'll go ahead and take out those cobwebs. And you'll see it's locked. So let's go ahead and head back over here. Look at that moon, though. It looks awesome. Everything looks really cool. I mainly download the texture shader things for the water. All right, anyways, uh, let's go back over here and activate this. Teleport back over there. Bam, see, everything is here. The barbarian helmet, diamond block, golden apples, everything is here. And let's see if we take all of this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this because this is not mine. It'd be not fair for me to have it. This was mine. There was only one arrow there. This was actually not mine. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, that's basically how it works. Um, again, you can just put in, you can put in the normal block data, or you can hook it up to a test for, or you can hook it up to a pressure plate. You can do whatever you want. Um, but that was just kind of like an easier way of being able to put um, to get blocked it out of a chest because you used to have to be able to use you, you used to have to um, like type in everything and all the uh, little quotation things and it was really really annoying so this is just an easier way of doing it so I hope you guys like the video um thank you by the way for all the views on um, the locate command um, I didn't really think that I was gonna get that much views I guess it must have been popular I guess you guys might not have known it. But, uh, regardless, thank you for those views, um, I'm really happy, it really helps. Um, also subscribe if you're not already, please, that really also helps me, and, uh, make sure to slam that like button, um, I think I already said that in the beginning, probably not, um, cause that also helps me. But, anyways, um, I'll see you guys later.